Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to get um, individual albums offline absolutely for free. My other one was individual songs offline, but that one, if you want to download 12 songs individually to fit into an album, that's fine, but this one you can download it all in one package, slash download, I guess. Alright, so you're going to need two uh, links, which will be used frequently, this whole uh, video. Well, one of them is a link, but access to a download. It's BitTorrent. Uh, this is the thing that will be used to extract the download file that you'll be downloading from the internet, the torrent file, into individual uh, audio files, which will be individual songs to anywhere you want on your computer. So you're going to want to download this file, uh, install it, and then we'll continue this video. And also, Kick-Ass Torrents is where you're going to download your torrent or download, which will be extracted in BitTorrent to be placed in individual, individual audio files, which are music files, so songs, and then put into iTunes directly to your iPod or whatever. So, Alright, now we got that covered. Uh, get those two links ready and um, install BitTorrent, and then we'll continue this video. Alright, now guys, when you installed, BitTorrent successfully went through all the terms of service and everything. Uh, it's a free program, so it should be fine on your computer, and it should basically look like this. I'm just saying now I have an uh, old version of it, there's an update for it, but uh, basically it's really the same thing. Just a little bugs and everything, but I never really experienced one, so it's basically fine. Alright, so I'm going to uh, walk you through the five tabs that you really need to know about this program uh, to make sure that you understand all the everything else really up here you really don't need. Alright, so all means all the downloads that you previously uh, used and extracted through this program in the past. Downloading is the ones that are currently downloading the bit, uh, torrent files. Completed are the ones that you obviously completed, successfully installed, and all that to your computer. Active, uh, this is a game that I downloaded a while back. It's seeding right now. You don't really need to know about this tab, but uh, yeah, just ignore it really. Inactive are basically the ones that you already installed and all that. Uh, really, you could basically clear out this folder if you want to. It just shows the downloads that you downloaded in the past that are not being used right now. Alright, now since you guys basically have a brief instruction on it, the to uh, program, now you're going to want to go to the site where you're actually going to download your torrent in order to be extracted through your new program, BitTorrent. Alright, so you can search for any album like I do with my other videos. I'm just going to give you an example of one just to show you what you exactly do for any album that you want in the future. So, Avenged Sevenfold, The Waking the Fallen, really good album. I like this band a lot, so I'm going to search for that and download their album. Alright, so these are all the torrent uh, files that have these words related to them up here. Um, wait for that to load completely. Alright, so you're going to want to want look for the ones that look more official and everything. The one with the most votes to ensure that it works. Uh, the one with the most cedars, basically to make sure that the download is fast and reliable. So you just click on one. And this is um this is basically the window that looks the same for any download that you do regarding movies, music, games, anything that you do on this website it should look like this for everything. Now up here, here's a really important thing that you need to know. Uh this proves that downloads have been uh installed successfully and people uh mark it thumbs up to tell people that it's a good download or thumbs down to prove that it's a fake or bad download or causes any trouble with their computer. If it has thumbs up, obviously, it means that it's a good download and people like it, so they give a thumbs up to uh, tell people that want to download it. It's good, so download it. Um, now, up here, to download this torrent, you need Wiseo Media Browser or whatever that is. Really, I think that's an advertisement. You really don't need it because I download all my programs or torrent files through Safari and it works completely fine and I think it's the same thing for Internet Explorer, Firefox, or any other browsers. And down here are all the files that are included in this torrent download which you extract through BitTorrent to have on your computer. And here's just a description which is optional but it just tells people what else is in the download. All these tracks are in the download. It tells a brief description of the band and everything. And here's the user. They could do this. It might, all the downloads won't have this but it just tells you, explains what's in it. Alright, so you don't need this once again. Uh, so you just download torrent and your and your download window pops up. This is for Safari. And it says you want to open or save this file. Just open it because you really don't need to save it. It's a torrent file. The ones that you're going to save are actually the music tracks from BitTorrent, which we'll extract later. So you just open the torrent file and it should open BitTorrent by itself automatically. Just wait a second. Alright, so now it tells you the 
download that you want to install through BitTorrent to extract to your computer. Here you can save all these audio tracks that come with the download into anywhere that you want on your computer. So I'm just going to save it into a new folder on your desktop. You can save it wherever you want on your computer. But I'm just going to save it on my desktop so I don't forget where I actually put all these tracks. These are the tracks that will be extracted through BitTorrent to be put on your computer. Here's the cover art. So say if you import it into iTunes, they'll have the cover art um, automatically with it to make it look like official, like you actually got the CD. And uh, then you'll want to click OK. And now there's one download, as you can see, Event 7 Fold Wake in the Fallen. Availability, uh, this will be red if it doesn't work, but once it turns blue, that means that people, well, it means that it's actually working. It's already downloading as it is. Put this as high to make it faster. So that is basically high pri priority on your computer, so that your computer mostly concentrates on this. And it already has 3% downloading. You don't really ne need to know about these. Here's your speed to make it look as though it's actually going up, and it is if the green bar goes up dramatically. And uh, and obviously it's going to take longer if it's a longer download. So I'll continue this video when this download is done. Alright, hey guys, I'm back. And now the download, the album finished downloading. So as you can see, it's not in the downloading tab anymore, but it's in the completed. Uh, Avengers Unfold Awaken the Fallen. It'll be the same thing for any other album that you download in the future. Alright, now you could uh, close that and go to the place, folder, a uh, file, whatever you downloaded those tracks or those uh, file contents onto your computer. So I saved my album into this new folder on my computer with all my other albums that I downloaded uh, from the internet through BitTorrent. And I'm going to go to Avengers Unfold Awaken the Fallen. And it'll already have all the tracks names most likely that came with the download it already have it so you don't need to fill anything in it has all the titles and everything so if you want to put this into itunes or whatever to put it directly onto your ipod for free just like the individual songs uh, video that i have already on youtube you're going to want to add file to library for that one but this one you want to add folder since you're going to add the entire album so you're going to go to that folder where you downloaded it events of folder waking the fallen and click ok Ah. Uh, well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it'll only only come up as one album into iTunes because I already downloaded this a while back, so I already have the same album. I don't know why that happened, so I'm just gonna delete that. Ugh, whatever. So it'll only have one album like this called "Wake in the Fall and Events Unfold." This will be the same thing for any other album. It's just that what I just downloaded, I already had. So then, once you're going to want to do that, you're going to just want to drag it to your iPod. When it's connected, you'll have to have your iPod connected, obviously, to, uh, to import it into your music tab. And the cover art, everything, the track names, will already be there to your iPod, ready to go. Thanks for t uh, rate, uh, comment, and subscribe. Thanks again, guys.